My name is Geneva Reed Veal. Gwen Carr. Lucy McBath. Marie Hamilton. Uh, my name is Sabrina Fulton, and my son was Trayvon Martin. I'm the mother of Jordan Davis, the young man who was shot and killed for playing loud music in his car. Trayvon was the person that comforted me. Whenever I was sick, he would make me soup. Well, my son was a very gentle individual. Everybody used to call him the big teddy bear. It was very funny going to the store with Sandy. She would rearrange your food. She would even put things back on the shelf because it wasn't good for you. <laughs> she was unlawfully arrested as a result of a traffic stop. So she lost her life uh, due to a traffic stop. Dontre was my youngest. Dontre had a smile that would uplift your spirits. Uh, Dontre was killed by a Milwaukee police officer. There was no indictment. The worst day of my life is when I had to bury my 17-year-old son. Each of us has, has lived through our own tragedies, which are all different. I just want people to understand that Sandy was so much more than that orange jumpsuit in the box. I read the Michael Brown story. And at that point, it was like, no, not another one. At that point, I decided um, that I wanted to be their voice. As a mother who lost her child, I was going to stand up and challenge the system and continue to tell my story. I can't help Trayvon at this time, but there are other Trayvon Martins that I can help. It's a story of a lot of young black males in this country. Our young men and women are being murdered and nobody is being held accountable. We're just not going to stand for this now. This is my life's work to get justice. Gun violence prevention. Police reform. We need to be accountable to making sure that my community is just as safe as any other person in this country. This is what we need our officials to recognize. The stakes are too high, the costs are too dear, and I am not and will not be afraid to keep fighting for common sense reforms and along with you achieve those on behalf of all who have been lost. She's been fighting for a long time with these issues. Finally, someone here is really willing to listen and to really stimulate change. I just feel like she's a person who is concerned about the needs of all people. She has a heart to serve.